Hello everyone, welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we were mining for citrine to put into an amulet. Although, I need some rope to continue exploring this cave, so I guess I'm not searching here. So how much citrine do I have so far? Two. And I need four? Uh, where do I find more? I wonder how much money lockpicks sell for. Well, it's about dang time. Okay, before I do anything, before I forget, I'm cooking the rest of my meat. Hopefully there won't be anybody asking for raw meat. And you just ate one of them. Two of them, in fact. Maddie says, at least you know how to get monster meat. Yeah, th my issue is there's a finite amount because monsters don't respawn. Let's cook one. One again. Doing this. In the hopes that Grunya will be less likely to eat the meat that I just cooked. Okay, let's see what these lockpicks sell for. Ten coins for one lockpick. I have five, I think? Six. I'm gonna put priority on finding some rope. Do you sell rope? Oh gosh, she sells citrine for 30 gold each. 30 coins, whichever the currency is. And rope is 15? My gosh, what's with your prices? Incidentally, you got... Oh, well, egghead trap, 105 coins. There's gotta be an easy way to get money in this world. In, in this DLC. And not just selling lockpicks. Okay, I know another way to get rope. But I would need four gu guckberry bottles. And I don't know entirely where to get more, aside from buying more. Well, there is one other area outside I haven't explored. I was planning on saving it for a little bit later, just so that we have somewhere new to explore later on in this playthrough, besides old Dead Eyes Lair, but... I guess we'll pop out here. Where is here? Where am I? Oh! Never mind, it's not somewhere new after all. It's an entrance that I didn't even know was here. Oh, so... Had I spotted this, this might have been a spot that I could have snuck in during the, her the heroine's quest. And that would have allowed me to get up here. I didn't notice stuff up here that I didn't know how to get to. Huh. Okay, well... Let's see if I can get some more citrine by coming this way. I'll worry about that for now. Groups come later. Need to sneak to the this but that cave. Let's 
So somewhere in here is going to be another crystal. Also, those boulders. Still don't know how to deal with those boulders. Uh, let's sneak around. Okay, there's two crystals in here. Hopefully... Oh! It's possible to get it without breaking a thing! I was really hoping to not trigger you. Okay. Dangerous as this fight is, you're also really in the in the way. So I need to perhaps find some way to get rid of y'all. Ooh, I can get rid of you now. Do I want it though? No, I want to do some regeneration because we're going to be taking a lot of damage during this fight. Especially with the bleeding. Okay, you're closer to 100 HP. This will be... Not... A bad waste. Double strike, take you out. Yes. Awesome. Now, who has the lowest HP? You do, but I think you can cause 68 points of damage. Especially when you crit. Had a feeling you'd be able to handle that pretty easily. Okay, this isn't going too bad. Granted, this is not going great either. At this point, regular attacks will finish you off. Okay. Please don't break. It broke. I would save scum, but I'm kind of concerned about uh, the enemies hovering around me. I said, I will attempt to save scum by this thing. Maybe my luck has changed. I don't know how my luck would be changed. Uh, never mind. I'll find some other way to break those boulders sometime. At the very least... I have four pieces of citrine now. Right? Yes. I'm gonna need to find some more somewhere, I feel like, for another quest, but at least we can complete this quest here. We get four shinies and purple dye for gloop. Oh, citrine is shinies? Oh, let's be good. You wait while we ma me make amulet. Fraggle Rock! Okay, for the record, I loved that show as a kid. I need to watch it again sometime. I mean, it's Jim Henson. I'm sure it's held up pretty well. Also, that does not sound promising. What happened? No big thing. Me scratch one stone by accident when install it into frame. But it'd be very small. Can't see it. Here, take your spider amulet. Look good. Remember that me only do frame and install shinies. You must put spell on amulet in Gamil Mark's fame, but only High Shaman know words for it. You're not worrying about it.
Okay. What do from here? Come back to the thing with the spider amulet. Alright, I remember now. Yeah. In fact, I re remember in part because the quest journal reminded me. But we need to talk to Mirmark. Which is apparently... A radio mushroom that allows us to talk to alien mushrooms or something like that. It's kind of interesting. We better get a summon out of this. I want to summon that carrot. Oh, great. Give me your mark. We bring spider amulet like you want. Really? Almost no scratches. Waiting for response. Please do not pull off the mushroom from the spawn. What? Analyzing. Charge level zero. Maximum charge four. Three and a half. One of the slots is screwed up. Three and a half rounds up to four? In your dreams, we're getting cheated. Better than nothing. Here it goes. I don't know what it is with decimal places in this game being commas. Ouch! Many thinks come to my head. Many thinks! Smart thinks! Not smart enough. Ouch, ouch! Head hurt from inside! Grunya, Grasha, Glusha, and Geisha each learned a spell. What it was just now? Um, no thing. We pray to Gmir Mark. There be no thing. But Geisha, what she be doing? She be woman like we. She can't do things, right? Yes, if I shall and say it, then it be like that. What if Gmir Mark says otherwise? Then you not worry. We do no thing. We can't do things anyway. I'm trying to decide with whether I am agreeing with their being sneaky or not. Honestly, I'd say, hey, Glusha, not Glusha, Geisha is able to communicate with Mirmark and it actually got stuff. So, Shaman totally wrong. Whatever, though. Good, me not worry, but don't make... Don't you make much noise. Phew. Got him distracted. Well, I suppose it is beneficial not to interrupt the process. Gvasha, you strong, but witty. Come here, Mark. We thank you for blessing. With new knowledge, we... Next mission. Accept. Um... More tasks? Three new missions. This DLC is pretty meaty. They won't be able to remember. Turning on sequential mode. I give it my seal of approval. Take Zuger's gifts and bring them here. Uh... Explaining. Subject Geisha. Objective. Obtain the item Zerger's Gift. Quantity. Two. Location. Goblin Chief House. The current owner of the items. Goblin Chief Harav. Wish me luck with this one. Uh, Zerger's Gift? Would it be? Explaining. A sphere of green color. Take it from and Harumph bring it to us. Um, we? They yours, Great Mushroom? We bring you round green thing. Interpreting instructions. Agreed. But how Chief Harumph can give us his green round thing? Chief never give anything. Chief only take. 
because he is he be chief. Analyzing the possibility of him giving the gifts willingly. Loading 50%. Hey, time's running out. Finished. Estimating probability, extremely low. Conclusion, strongly not recommend. Suggestion, expropriation without notifying the owner. Don't get busted. But, time limit has ended. End of call. Bring Zerger's gift here now. Me not understand how we get them. Oh, great mirror mark. Me plead you tell us what me must do. Analyzing. I just say kindness, faith, and reason. Huh? Kindness, faith, and reason. Say this to Dor. Then you, over and out. Ouch, my head. Geisha, can you more give us strong powers? Yes, you be right. We re we receive blessing, useful blessing. Yes, it be like this, but. Come here, Mark, give us more tasks. What? More tasks? We must steal two round things from Chief Haroth. Two green balls. Friend human give the balls to Haroth. Yes, we know. This be wrath stones. Chief become more angry because of it. More angry than usual. Great Mirror. Want that we take wrath stones from Haranth. High Priest always a already asked Chief throw away this Randall, but Haranth not listen. Now, Gamir Mark, order us take those stones from Chief. Hmm. But why Great Gamir Mark not tell High Shaman to do this? No. Gamir Mark choose us. We be the chosen ones. Great honor. Great cause. Geisha, Great Gamir Mark really want to help us? Not ditch us? You believe we can do all. Gamir Mark give me advice. Which? We say, kindness, faith, and reason to Dor. These be Gmir Mark's words. They hold true truth. Geisha, you be strong, but very, very witty. My mind boggles at how witty you are. We can understand everything if we think hard enough. Move, move it, Green Furies. Off we go. Suddenly, Grunya is now at level 4. Oh, we all level up. Because we gain experience. Okay, not all of us. Because Grunya and Gvasha did some things before Glusha and Gisha joined. So they're... Slightly behind. Now well, we could get those extra levels if we fight a few more enemies. Mm, but with the experience being divided up the way it is, don't feel like it. So what magic do we got? Meat shield. Okay, for you, it might actually be useful. Magical power. We've seen that before. Bonds released. Gain 10 TP, remove sleep, and paralysis. Well, I now know what the Russian symbol for and is. Removes attack, defense, and spleen, uh, and spin penalties. Spin. Oh, speed. And you have now web. Applies paralysis. Needs 80 MP and 40 TP to throw the net. Well, not going to be able to do that too often. Okay, before moving on, I want to heal, because you never know, we might have to fight at some point. Especially if we have to continue dodging around these monsters. <laughs> 